my perspective on that has evolved over time. Um, if you would have asked me 15 years ago, I would have said, you're gonna to have to figure out how you can put volunteer areas within those gaps and figure out a very creative way. Hopefully you can start consulting so you plug up those gaps so you don't have any um, because it wasn't always viewed as a positive thing being a military spouse. So you almost hit it 15 years ago. Now I think that the, the best approach is, is really to, to lead with the fact that you're a military spouse. It's something to be proud of. Military spouses generally tend to be um, you know, we're able to um, handle a lot of different adversity and quick changes and we're used to living in that type of environment. Um, and I think that that's something that is really unique to the military spouse and something you want to lead with. So while I wouldn't necessarily put, you know, on your resume summary that you're a military spouse or what have you, it's a really great place to put it in a cover letter. It's a really great place to sort of start off with a LinkedIn introduction of, of you being a military spouse or even put it in your byline. I would lead with that and explain those gaps being, you know, for reasons of supporting your military spouse.